Responsible mining is never compromised by mining companies across the world. Mining companies derive huge benefits from mining responsibly, giving communities and countries relief that mining is not destructive as perceived by most people. Mining is seen or perceived to be uh, a destructive operation. But if you have the opportunity to drive around, you'll see that after mining, we rehabilitate the land, try to restore it to its original use. We also do demonstrational farms around. We have a cliche at the chamber which says, uh, mining must be responsible. The reason for this is that mining is long term, is capital intensive and has implications for current and future generations and the environment. It's therefore important that mining companies operate responsibly. Irresponsible mining comes at a cost to both the mining company, community and the country at large. Mining companies adhere to international best practices. Mining companies have undertaken many projects that correct environmental problems associated with mining. Sadmananya <laughs> Newmont Achim Mines has a unique story. We have a life of mine operating plan, and then with the life of mine operating plan, with the uh, work a col collaboration with the mining engineers to start with, we've designed the reclamation and integrated it into the mine engineering. For example, this is the engineering and you, as you can see from behind, we have different stages of how we abandon mine or how we are doing the reclamation or decommission. Uh, that matured area was we started in May 2015 and that is the stage that we have now. And then behind there you can see uh, a fresh area that is being reclaimed and then this started this year. At Ghana Manganese Company and Chirano Gold Mines, massive reclaimed lands have been turned into man-made giant forests. We have about 20 hectare oil palm plantation, which is doing very well, which was a rehabilitation of a waste dam that is running successfully. Most of the time people think when the land is disturbed for mining activities, that's the end. But we also demonstrate this to prove that after the life of the mine, the land is still usable. The community around can also 
make you, they can continue with their farming life, they can continue with the various activities that were going on before the mine was established. We have a strong policy of reclamation where we, we've gone beyond even compliance in reclamation criteria. We're looking at, like I said, we want to leave a sustainable development project in, in Chirano, where perhaps maybe Chirano may be seen as a, a ecological set piece and becomes an, a, a shining example for Africa. Um, it looks good for now, and uh, in terms of practicalizing it, if you see around, you see areas that have been rehabilitated. Currently, a tailings dam that has been decommissioned is under rehabilitation. These reforested lands are contributing to the regeneration of green covers and at the same time empowering communities. UHOP is basically a program that was introduced in the Goldfields host communities to train um, about a thousand youth in the cultivation of um, horticultural products, vegetables to be specific. Other agencies such as EPA play key roles in mining. Yes, the, the main role the EPA plays is in the area of the environmental impact assessment. You know, when the Minerals Commission grants a mining company the lease to go in and mine a concession, they put in that you know, a, a, a approval that they need to come and obtain environmental approval from the Environmental Protection Agency. And we do that you know, in a number of ways. Our members are very responsible when it comes to mining. Um, they take into consideration the ramifications of the operations, how it affects the environment, how it affects the health and safety of the communities and even and the employees as well. We, we, we congratulate the Chamber of Mines on this day, the 90th anniversary. I think it's a big achievement. Uh, the team for the anniversary is a responsible and sustainable mining partner in development. We will only say that uh, it is a very welcome team and uh, on behalf of the University of Mines and Technology, the only university of the type in West Africa, we would like to say to the Ghana Chamber of Mines, Ayiko. Long live Mother Ghana, long live the mining industry, and long live the Ghana Chamber of Mines.